Hey everybody, it's T-Bone speaking, and I'm just here to show you a bit of a redstone contraption that I think I've invented. I've had a bit of a look through the YouTubes, and I don't think anyone else seems to have done this one. Now, let me know in the comments if that's wrong, but basically I've got a bit of a T-flip-flop going here. Now you just click on the button, redstone lamp comes on, redstone lamp goes off. Pretty simple. It's not the most compact one out there, but uh, I think it's probably going to be one of the easiest ones for you guys out there who don't know too much about the redstone. Now, just to let you know what's going on here, I've built a bit of another one above ground, and what we've got is a dispenser with a button on it, redstone going through here from a comparator to a repeater, and the important part is so you've got two redstone dusts here. Now, inside the chest, uh, inside the dispenser, we've got a bucket of water. Now, what this relies on is that uh, buckets by themselves, they stack up to 64 buckets in there and uh, buckets with water and buckets with lava they don't stack so when it's coming out of the comparator inside there the bucket of water is more full than just the plain bucket so it puts out two signal strengths inside the redstone there now the dispenser if we click on the button spits out the water and now it's just an empty bucket which will be out of stack normally that means it's only spitting out one signal in there and it doesn't go as far as the repeater so it doesn't do whatever it needs to and if you click on the button again, it sucks up the water, and again, we've got a bucket full of water in there, it's spitting out two signal strength. Now, I haven't done it myself, but I think this sort of thing would probably do pretty well as some sort of a memory cell for people. So just any redness open signal inside there, it doesn't have to be a button, it can be a lever, it can be a pressure plate. As soon as it goes in there, it toggles its state. And all you need in order to get it out is a comparator and at least two signal strength uh, worth of redstone dust. Now, I'll probably leave that side of things up to the ethos of the world, but uh, I think this is probably a pretty decent thing myself. Um, minimum you need is just a dispenser, a bucket of water and a comparator. Anything out of that is just the payload, and you can do from there what you want to do. Well, give it a go, you guys, and let me know what you think. Cheers.